This next segment may bend the laws of attraction just a bit. A trend called vabbing has resurfaced among women. It involves using, get this, vaginal fluids as a secret weapon to attract a partner, as if it's a perfume. Sounds wild, right? The idea had a local export, expert floored about it. What is vabbing exactly? Okay, so here's... When you sent me that, I was like, this is uh, one of those things that uh, as a sex educator, right, and I'm also very into kink culture, uh, this is actually a new one for me. Um, we've had what? women throughout. What? New I for you? No, I, I had vaguely heard of it, but I didn't think that people were actually doing it. It's kind of like, you know, the Richard Gere hamster thing. You hear about it, but you don't <laughs> think it really exists. OK, and then when you sent me the link, I actually Googled it and like people are actually doing this. This is crazy. So this is when a woman or a uh, vagina having person uh, gets their vaginal fluid and rubs it on the erotic zones of their body to um, allegedly tempt a partner to come to them with their pheromones. Now, <laughs> I, have, I, have, I, know, I know, I know, I have a little bit of OCD, so whenever I actually read this, I kind of like gagged a little bit, um, not in a fun way. And I can't <laughs> believe something made you gag. It was, okay, so I, I, I am all for, um, for, you know, smells, tempting people, that's great. Now, this doesn't actually exist. So whenever uh, people tell you that humans uh, excrete pheromones and, you know, it'll, you're, during ovulation, your pheromones will lure a man, there's been no studies, absolutely zero closed case studies on the olfactory receptors, glands, all of that stuff in the human being. There have been no studies on reproduction with this because, I mean, who's going to lock, I don't know, a thousand people in a office building for a year and see what smell gets them to reproduce? There have been no studies. So, so this is actually completely 100% made up. And it's, I guess, I'm guessing it's kind of a placebo thing. Uh, I don't understand it. Uh, I don't like it because it just seems very unhygienic for me. And I'm a very kinky person, but I don't want random people hugging me when they've got their fluids Vaginal on them. Vaginal juices on them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, their juices. <laughs> Could you imagine if, you're, if your dude, like your bro, right? He's like, hey, man, I just, in my hand, and I rubbed it on my neck so my girl would like it. It's crazy. Um, this, <laughs> this reminds me of the blood spaghetti. Do you know what the You'd blood spaghetti is? You'd be surprised is? what dudes do behind closed doors. And I can imagine. But do you know, you know about the blood spaghetti? You know, you know it's always that? something like, hey, look at these two fingers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Smell my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Human beings are nasty. But yeah, no, this is something throughout the ages. Uh, women have been trying to, I guess, tempt men or, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a point blank trap men right so there is an old uh i will say it's more of a cultural practice which i actually know somebody who did this and i gave her a, a nice uh talking to so during women's periods they will put their blood into pasta sauce and feed it to the man that they like in hopes that he will become obsessed with her right now that's something i've heard since a kid in louisiana exactly. that's nothing and new for us in louisiana exactly yeah so yeah my um my relatives are from homo louisiana so this is where that came from um it's some some hoodoo stuff and i truly believe in all that so that's where the scary part comes in right what is what is it is it going to be pheromones which we don't even know if we can smell because we don't the science behind it is not there or is it just a placebo effect? Is it just somebody being desperate to get find love and have a partner, which I completely understand, right? Everybody wants to be loved. But how far are you going to go to get that love when it's not already given to you? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's and that's a good point you make there. It's just sad. Um, if you like you do said, it, though, Lady McCallan, it reminds you, it reminds us of Lady Eloise from Boomerang, and of course oh Grace my, Jones. The essence of Grace sex. Jones would smell the panties <laughs> and the turn. <laughs> oh yeah, I sent you that picture of the panties in the face, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> that's the first thing that popped in my head. I was like, I just saw her standing on that table with the panties. I was like, yep, that's exactly what it reminds me of. Uh, it's just. I don't know. I guess the question is, how far are you personally willing to go to to get a partner? I guess that's what all this boils down to, right? Because yeah, it's absolutely. not a thing. At some point, it's you've got to draw the line in the sand and exactly. say, okay, this is it. Yeah. As, as women, as 
vagina having people. If you are not a woman, you should not be that desperate to get a partner. I'm sorry, but men are plentiful and of low value. We don't need to do that. <laughs> All right, Lady McGallan, <laughs> always good to talk to you here. I'm the fact that I'm censored. Good to see you. Have a great one. <laughs>